Welcome back to another episode. Um, sorry, this is uh, Ken with X Mods. Uh, second time shooting this video because it's on my smartphone and I ran out of memory and I like to talk a lot. So, um, anyways, um, as you can tell by the first thing you see is a uh, this is about a Sega Genesis uh, classic game console from a company called At Games. I think it's a sister company or an under different company name. Um, uh, this is I, what I believe is a licensed product so from Sega. So you can probably call it the Genesis 4 if you want to. I don't think it's entirely worthy of that name, but it definitely, um, definitely it's a cool system. Um, so I used to have a Sega Genesis Model 2 when I was in high school. Um, and it was a pretty simple unit. You had a reset, a power button, and cartridge slot, and then you had your special AV cord. Um, so, I mean, the Model 2 was a no-thrills system. So, I figured, why not? I'll just buy this. It was at the local family dollar, uh, 40 bucks, as you can tell on the top of the box. Um, it comes with, um, you know, all the Mortal Kombat's. Uh, for the Genesis, the original ones, the ones that really count. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, it comes with 40 Genesis games. I know the box is 80, but uh, some of them are like filler games. You know, which kind of, kind of to me, if you're gonna, if if Sega is is gonna slap their name on a box and let some third party sell it, then they should say, hey, no. No uh, clone games. You know, they have games like Air Hockey, one called Mr. Balls, believe it or not. Um, chess. Uh, so there's so the other 40 games are filler games. But still, uh, really what you're getting is uh, 40 games. So that's a dollar a game, which is reasonable. That's why I bought it. Um, I, I, I went to a local game store because I had to pick up some controllers for this. Um, and pretty much you can get a, a, a Genesis, um, model two for about, um, $20, um, uh, game, depending on your game store, it might be more, it might be less. So, yeah, I'm just kind of shaky on this whole thing, but it's pretty good. It, it, it responds to games play just like a Genesis. And that's why I haven't, you know, I haven't really <laughs> bought a Genesis. Um, here's the system. I got Robocop 3 in there. Um, it has two controller ports on the front because you're going to need those. Um, you know, and it says Genesis right there. Uh, I'll take the cartridge out, but uh, I'm just going to do this in one shot just because I don't feel like editing video. Um, so anyways, yeah, it says at games on the back, other than what it says Genesis, it has, uh, AV, uh, which, which is, you know, RCA cables. So you're not going to get any spectacular audio. That's the biggest complaint on this. Um, you know, you're going to have, uh, you know, left in or sorry, yeah, left audio and video, um, so no right audio, so that means one speaker will work. Um, one of the tricks I've, I've done is I hooked this up to my VCR because it looks better um, through, um, you know, channel three through the coaxial cable, so it, before it was just shaky, it just didn't look right on um, my HDTV, but you pass it through if you happen to have a VCR. I know who has it. Who has a VCR? If you happen to have a VCR, pass it through that, and then that'll look good. I do have a CRT screen. No problem if you plan on hooking this up to old CRT TV anyway. Um, and then uh, yeah, it says uh, compatible with cartridges. Um, you know, one thing to note it says uh, some cartridges are not compatible. Uh, due to cartridge conditions or red or sorry original 
or original specifications of cartridge hardware. So that means if you have a cartridge in it only, you know, it has a special chip in it to give you better graphics, you know, instead of just like a standard uh, Genesis cartridge, you know, like this, you know, just some of the older Genesis games will play. So this has about, um, yeah, some people say 95. I'm probably going to say about 90% of cartridges. I was playing a World Series Baseball 95, and it would go to a black screen. I couldn't even load a... Um, a, a game a baseball game um and the the whole time i had no audio so this is definitely not gonna replace original genesis but for me i, I don't even know what i did with my genesis I, I think i sold it um about you know probably 12 years ago um pretty pretty big mistake this game also or this system has uh, shinobi 3 loaded on it um, so that's kind of the main reason why I bought it. Um, and it has Streets of Rage, all your, pretty much, um, the 40 games, you know, I can name them all, but yeah, you, you can, you can check it out. Um, so, so pretty much you can just get this system and just, that's all you need. You don't even need cartridges. Um, but you know, I try to find some good cartridges. That's another thing about the, uh, at least I'm in, I'm, I live in Idaho. So none of like like uh, these game systems um, like Genesis, uh, even Super Nintendo are starting to get scarce. Like, uh, you know, I talked to one of the local pawn shops um, in the area um, after when I bought my uh, controllers. I'm like, hey, yeah, I just wanted to see what they're charging for Genesis. They're like, yeah, we don't even get a Genesis uh, hardly ever. And if we do, it's uh, we get the sports games. We don't even see Sonic. So for someone like me that, you know, I am a collector, so I'd rather have original Genesis. But someone for me that just wants to go back and play the games, so th this is a, a pretty good system. Uh, the system itself um, is cheap plastic. You know, I don't see it even holding up with the uh, Genesis 3. Um, so the Genesis Model Model 3 wasn't even made by Sega. So only the Model 1 and Model 2 were. Um, you know, you have R, uh, sorry, infrared. Uh, here's the infrared controller. Uh, as I stated, I bought a uh, original, or not original, but a third-party wired controller. And, uh, you know, that it plugs into there. So, you know, it'll, it'll fit in there. I'm just kind of... But anyways, um, yeah, this... I mean, the buttons are not bad on this controller. Um, you have a menu button that will take you back to the list of the uh, 80 games it claims it has. Um, and then you have the menu button on here, which acts like a reset button. And then you have uh, the power on and off, of, of course. Um, it does come with a, a I think it's 9 volt um, power adapter to plug it into the wall. Um, so, yeah, definitely this is, um, I think it's, I think it's a good thing. Um, the, the audio sucks because it's mono, it's tingy. The audio chip in here is not going to be great, you know, because it's mostly like emulated um, it's kind of, it's not really even a clone chip, but, uh, you know, these run on like Z80 processors back in the day, uh, which a lot of calculators nowadays are faster. So, you know, it, you know, in 2015, you can definitely fit, uh, a whole game console into this box. So it's definitely easy to do. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm going to cut this, this video short. Uh, I would show you gameplay, but my, you know, my battery's dying and, and I ran out of memory on the last video. So, um, yeah, let me know if you want to check this out. Um, you know, this, this infrared, uh, it doesn't work that great. So you're going to want to use your own, uh, your own controllers, um, or buy some. Uh, unfortunately, these controllers are like $9 a piece. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great day, and uh, comment on the video if you want to see anything else uh, from me.